Hello friends, my name is Vaseem and I welcome you all to this channel Bank for You. So friends, in this video I will be discussing two sets of data interpretation questions which are very important from the point of view of any bank examination. So friends, once you come across the question, try to solve the questions by yourself and continue watching the video. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead. So here is the first set of questions. So here, it's a tabular DI. So the firstly, we need to spend 5-10 seconds to read the directions which are given here. So let's go through these directions friends. So the given table shows the data related to 5 students. So see here, this table shows the data which is regard to the 5 students. The students are given here, student A, student B, student C, student D and student E. And the total number of movies watched by them. So this here, in this table, so the data is with regard to these five students and the movies which were, which they watch okay so these are the movies that, that that is these are the number of movies which they have watched by them during a period of 10 years so during during a period of 10 years so the past 10 years so the number of movies watched by them is also given here and here so the ratio of bollywood to hollywood hollywood to bollywood movies is also given so therefore the a has watched total 350 movies in the past 10 years and the Hollywood movies to Bollywood ratio would be 4 is to 3. So therefore, see here, so we shall not waste our time uh, when we come across the questions friends. So we shall do it now itself. The ratio, if you are going to find it now itself, it will be easy for us to do it later. Okay. So therefore, here it is 350. So for that reason, what I am going to do here is 350. So the total is 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So, 350 divided by 7. 7 1 time, 7 5 times. It is 50 times, right? So, 50 into 4 is equal to 200 is to 50 into 3 is equal to 150, right? Again, here 400 is here. 400 divided by 11 plus 9. 11 plus 9 is 20. So, therefore, 400 divided by 11 plus 9 is 20. 0, 0 gets cancelled to 1 time to 20 times. So, 20 into 11 is equal to 220 is to 20 into 9 times is 180, right? The next one is, so 250, she has watched 250 movies in the ratio of 3 is to 7, that is Bollywood to Hollywood. So, therefore, 250 is here, take 250 as it is, divided by, so 3 plus 7, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10, 0 is 0 gets cancelled, 25, okay? So, 25 into 3 is 75, is to 25 into 7 is equal to 175, right? So, this is also done. The next one is 200. Total number of movies watched by D is 200. That is, so, Hollywood to Bollywood ratio is 13 is to 12. So, therefore, 200 total movies divided by 13 is to 12, sorry, that is, that is 13 plus 12 is equal to 25, one time, 8 times, okay? So, 8 into 13. 8 into 13 is how much? So, if you don't know, 8 into 10 is 80, 8 into 3 is 24, okay? You just can consider this way, right? So, this is equal to 104 is to, so 8 into 12. 8 into 12 is how much? So, it is 96, right? 96. So, 96 plus 104 is equal to 200, that's correct. The next one is 375 movies watched by E in the ratio of 16 is to 9, okay? So, 375 divided by 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. So, 25, 1 time 25, okay. The left out is 12 is carried forward, 125. 5 times it is 125. So, this goes by 15 times, right. So, 15 into 16. So, 15 into 15 is 225, right. 15 into 15 is 225. 15 into 16 would be, 15 into 16 would be 250. Is to, so, 15 into 9 is 135, right. So, uh, I think uh, I have done a mistake somewhere here, right? I will make it clear. See, 15 is to 16. So, I mean, I am going to take this as 10 plus 5. So, 16 into 10 times 160. 16 into 5 times 80. Sorry, this is 240. I have taken in a wrong way. It is not 250. It is 240, right? 240, 135. This is correct. Now, we are clear with this. Now, we have to solve the questions based on these ratios. I will delete all this and uh, let us go ahead friends. As you can see the first question here is, so what is the average number of Bollywood movies watched by student A, B and D together? So we need to check out 
the bollywood this is with regard to hollywood to bollywood ratio okay so we need to check out the average of all bollywood movies watched by a b and d so this is a this is b and this is d okay so we need to take the average of all these three so 150 plus 180 is equal to 330 330 plus 96 would be so 426 so 426 divided by 3 because we need to take the average here so 3 one time 3 one time it is 3 4 times it is 12 2 times it is 6 so the answer has to be 142 that's nothing but option c in this case let's check out the next one here so total number of hollywood movies watched by student e is what percent more or less than the total number of movies watched by student b so see here so total number of movies watched by student e first we need to take out so total number of hollywood movies so this is with regard to hollywood to bollywood total number of hollywood movies watched by e is 240 right so 240 and the total number of students movies sorry total number of movies watched by b is 400 okay so it is as as this was what the total number of hollywood movies watched by student e is what percent more or less than the total number of movies watched by student b so the question is in the form of x is what percent more or less than y so in that case we are going to take the equation as x by x minus y divided by y into 100 so therefore here the hollywood movies watched by e is x and the movies watched by y, b is y so therefore x is 240 minus 400 divided by 400 into 100 okay so these two zeros these two zeros gets cancelled so 240 minus 1 400 that is 240 minus 400 is equal to what 16 that is 160 right 160 divided by 4 4 one time for four times it is 16 zero so this is 40% should be the answer that's nothing but option a here right let's check out the next one here so see here friends total number of movies means number of hollywood movies plus bollywood movies so we not i mean this information is not required but then they have given i did not tell you about this but then now i'm telling you okay the next one here is the total number of hollywood movies watched by student c and b together is how much more or less than the total number of bollywood movies watched by d and e so see here it is not as does the percentage so how much more or less than it is asked that means we need to check out how much more or less that's it nothing more okay so hollywood movies watched by c and b so c and b so this is hollywood and this is bollywood so b and c is so 220 plus 75 is 295 difference i mean take the difference here so d and e bollywood movies so d and e is this bollywood movies okay so 135 plus 90 or otherwise you can take it in this way 135 plus 6 is equal to 141 141 plus 90 is equal to 241 minus 10 that is 241 minus 10 is 231 take the difference here 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 so 9 minus 3 is equal to 6 the answer has to be 64 that is nothing but option d here so let's go to the next one here so find the ratio of total number of movies watched by student c and d together total number of movies watched by c and d together that is 250 plus 200 is equal to 450 to the to, to the number of bollywood movies watched by b c and e together so bollywood movies watched by b c e right so this is hollywood this is bollywood b c e so this is b this is c and this is e so 0 plus 5 is 5 5 plus 5 is 10 0 is here 1 is carried forward so 1 plus 8 is 9 9 plus 7 is 9 plus 7 is 16 right 16 plus 3 is 19 so 9 has to be here 1 is carried forward so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 that's equal to 490 right so we need to take up the ratio here so therefore this ratio to this ratio so 450 is to 490 So zero zero gets cancelled. I mean these two numbers are not exactly divisible by any common number. So therefore the final ratio would be forty five is to forty nine. So therefore our answer has to be forty five is to forty nine. That is option B here. I hope you understood this. So I think this is the last question from the first set. Okay. So the average total number of movies watched by B and D 
is what percent of the average number of uh, average of total number of movies watched by AMC. So see here, friends. So we need to take the average here and the average here. So average of two persons and average of two persons common, right? So therefore, we have to take the average itself. We can directly cancel it out. Okay. And the question is in the form of x is what percent of y, right? So in that case, we are going to take the equation as x by y into 100. So therefore, average of total number of movies watched by B and D. So B and D, it, sorry, B and D, right? I have taken B and C here, wrong. Okay. B and D, it is 400 plus 200, that's equal to 600, divided by, so the average total number of movies watched by A and C. Okay. So average of total number of movies watched by A and C. So A and C is 350 plus 250, that is 400 plus 200 is equal to 600. 600 into 100. So this goes by 1, 100% is left out. The answer has to be option E, 100%. Otherwise, if you are going to do it average, so 600 divided by 2 is 300, 12 by 3, 600 divided by 2 is 300. So into 100, even if you are going to do it in this way, so 300, 300 gets cancelled, 100% is left out here. So this is the first set of questions. We shall check out the next set of questions here. Okay. So, here the data given below shows the number of girls in six different schools. So, the number of girls in six different schools that is A, B, C, D, E and F. Okay. Some data is given in absolute value while some in percentage. So, this is the absolute value which is given. This is the absolute value which is given. The other data is in given the form of percentage here. So, study the data carefully and answer the following questions. So, we need to study this data and we need to answer this question. So see here friends, if you look at one thing, so we are going to consider this as 360 degree and if it is given in the form of percentages, so we are going to consider this as 100%, right? So therefore, here the data is not given with regard to these two values, right? In the form of percentage, it is given as, you know, uh, the absolute value is given here. So for that reason, what I am going to do here is, I am going to consider the whole circle, circle as 100%. And I'm going to take the remaining percentage as meant for these two values. So therefore, 9 plus 20 is 29. Okay, 9 plus 20 is 29. So 29 plus 15. 29 plus 15 is 44. 44 plus 24 is equal to 68. So total, this, this, this and this is equal to 68. That means the remaining has to be, so 68 minus 100 minus 68. That's equal to 32, right? The remaining is equal to 32. So, if 462 plus 594 is equal to 32, what does, I mean, uh, what percentage do they get? Okay, let's do, do it friends. 462 plus 594. Okay. So, 462 plus 594 is equal to 6, 5, 1 is carried forward 10. That is equal to 1056. We know 32 square, 32 square is, we know, that is uh, 1024. Right. 1024 is 32 square. So, if we add 32 more, okay, this becomes 6, this is 5, 1056. That means, 32 plus 1 times it goes, that is 33. That means, 462 and 594, that is 1056 is equal to 33 percentage. So, so this 33 percentage is, this sorry, this 32 percentage is equal to 1024. Then, sorry, 1056, right? 1056, sorry for this. 1056. Then, here, 1 percentage is equal to 33, right? 1 percentage is equal to 33. So, therefore, let us check out the percentage here. Because, we need to find the central angle of girls in school B first, okay? So, therefore, 594 divided by, sorry, 33 first. We need to take out. So, therefore, 33 one time it is 33 here it is 33 is gone one time the remaining is so 17 plus 9 so 17 plus 9 is 26 that's equal to 264 so 3 into uh, I mean 364 right so how can we take 364 here so 33 into 5 times so 33 into 5 times it is 165 33 into 5 times it is 165 so the remaining here is I think it goes by 8 times because if you look at the unit digit here, it is 4. So, therefore, uh, 33 into 8 times it is 264. 8 into 3 is 
8 into 3 is 24, 4 is here, 2 is carried forward, 8 into 3 is 24, 24 plus 2 is 26. This is equal to 26. So therefore, this is equal to, I mean this goes by, this is 8 percentage, okay. So, 8 percentage, 1, 8 percentage, right. So, earlier there was 1, the remaining is 8 percentage. So therefore, this is equal to 18 percentage, right. So, if this is 18, See, total of 32 was there. If this is 18, the remaining has to be for, meant for this. So, therefore, 12 minus 8 is how much? So, 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. This is equal to 14 percentage. Right? This is done. This is 18 percentage. This is 14 percentage. We need to find the central angle of girls in school B. So, this is the data which regard to the girls only. So, therefore, central angle of girls would be 18 percentage out of 100 percentage. So, 18 by 100 into so we need to find out the central angle that is why i'm going to multiply with 360 here so 0 0 gets cancelled here so 5 into 2 times sorry 10 into 5 uh, sorry 2 into 5 times so 2 into 18 times so 18 into 18 is equal to 324 divided by 5 5 1 time 5 6 times it is 30 so 4 times it is 20 point so 4 is left out so here 5 into 8 times approximately. So, the answer has to be 64.8 degree. That is option B here. Let us do it. The next one here. Total number of girls in school D is how much more or more than the total number of girls in school E. So, we know it is 14 percentage and we know it is 18 percentage. So, we need to do what? We need to find out the total number of girls in school D is how much more than the total number of girls in school E. So, D is 24, E is 14 percentage, right? D is 24, E is 14 percentage. Take the, take the difference here, this is equal to 10 percentage, right? We know 1 percent is equal to 33. Then 30, 10 percent would be, so 33 into 10, that is equal to 330. So, therefore, option C, 330 has to be the answer, right? So, see here, we need to take the difference that is how much more than the total number of students in uh, girls in school A. So, it is, it is saying that the total, I mean, it is not asked us to find out any kind of percentage. We need to take up only the total number, how much more or less. That is it. So therefore, 24 minus 14 is equal to 10. So, 1 percentage is equal to 33. Then 10 percent would be 330. I hope you understood. So, let us check out the next one here. So, find the total number of girls in school A and D together. So, total number of girls in school A and D together. So, A it is 20 percent, D is 24. So, 20 plus 24 would be 44 percentage. So, 1 percentage is equal to 33. Okay. Multiply with 33. So, 3 into 4 is 12. 2 is here. 1 is carried forward. 12 plus 12 is equal to 24. 24 plus 1 is 25. So, 2 is carried forward. 4 into 3 is 12. 12 plus 2 is equal to 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. So, therefore, the answer has to be 1452. That is nothing but option E here. Let us check out the next one here. If ratio between number of girls and the number of boys in school F is 9 is to 8, then find total number of students in school F. So, see here it is said what? If ratio between number of girls and number of boys in school F is 9 is to 8, but the data which is given here that is with regard to this data is with regard to the total number of <coughs> see the total data which is given here this is with regard to the total number of girls only okay this data is total data is with regard to the girls only if ratio between number of girls and number of boys in school f is 9 is to 8 so 9 is to 8 so, 9 is to 8. This is with regard to the ratio between girls and boys. So, this is girls and boys. So, see here. Then we need to find out the total number of students in school F. So, we need to find out the total number of students in school F. So, see here. So, it is 9 percentage. Girls is 9 percentage. So, 9 percentage is equal to 9. Then, 8 percentage would be, I mean, here, if 9 percentage is equal to 9, then 8 percentage would be equal to 8 only. That's it. So, we need to do what? We need to find out the total number of students in school F. So, therefore, so the total number of students would be 9 plus 8 percent. 
So 9 plus 8 percent is equal to 17 percent. If 1 percent is 33, 17 percent would be how much? That we need to find out. Okay. So 3 into 7 is, see, 3 into 17 is 51. 3 into 17 is 51. 165. That is 561 has to be the answer. That is option A here. I hope you understood. So here is the last question. So you just try to solve it by yourself. Uh, and let me know your answers in the comments below. So this is all for today friends. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead. Before ending up this session, I request you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with your friends and if you have any doubts, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead.